In today's video, I'll be talking about reasons your visa and COS is being delayed. And also, I'll be talking about the petition going on against the Home Office for the visa delay. So, hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're coming across my face, my channel for the very first time, my name is Faith Ajane. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back again. Without saying so much, guys, let's get right into the video. <music> So guys, here is the latest update. I mean, this was updated the 11th of May of 2022. And I already shot my video for the week before this update came in. So that is why I'm going to be sharing my screen and we'll go through it together. So what this update means is that the UK government has extended the processing time of visa. I mean, look at it visitors visa standard visitors visa application currently takes average of six weeks to process we are working hard to process applications to get back to three weeks so if you're applying for the standard visitors visa you have to wait for six weeks that's what they are saying so um if you're traveling through the uk i mean if you're applying for transit visa the current waiting time is six weeks and they said they are trying so hard to bring it down to three weeks but because of the current situation they are prioritizing ukraine for study visa ukvi is prioritizing ukraine visa scheme application so application for study visa may take longer to process they do not specify how long a study visa will take work or invest in the uk uk VI is also prioritizing ukraine so the application for your visa may take longer is the same as a study visa then to join your family in the uk uk is prioritizing ukraine visa application so application for family visas may take up to 24 weeks to process i mean it is what it is in hong kong british nationals 12 weeks so man what this means is that the processing time for visa now takes longer than usual so i would leave the link of this information in my description box below so you can go and read it and let's just hope things get back to normal as fast as possible anyways let's head to the main video so before i talk about the petition currently going on against UKVI for visa delay. Let's talk about some of the reasons why your visa is being delayed and also your COS, why you're not getting your COS. Number one reason why your visa is being delayed. In March, the UK government published that they will be suspending priority and super priority visa for the meantime because they want to focus more on Ukraine. You know, the crisis that is going on um in ukraine so they are trying to um bring more ukrainians into the country so last time i checked they said from ukraine alone they have over seventy-four thousand visa application i mean seventy-four thousand, and i think they've processed about this is seven thousand so you can you can imagine they are drained so that is why they had to suspend priority and super priority visa outside the uk this is the major reason why the visa is being delayed number two reason why your visa is being delayed is caseload there's a lot of visa application and no staff the last time i checked there's over 1.1 million job vacancy in the uk and this is 2022 i think um the february statistics of the current job vacancy in the uk is 1.1 million i don't know if it's still the same generally every sector and industry in the uk are understaffed a lot of people want to come to the uk for holidays um site viewing tourism and the rest so for the summer so they will want to start processing their visa now from spring and so there should be a lot of case load at the moment the third reason why your visa is being delayed is where you're applying your visa from so the country at which you are applying your visa could affect the processing time of your visa. Depends on the relationship your country have with the UK government. That would also affect 
the visa processing time. So if your country has a good relationship with the UK government, processing your visa might not take longer time, but if there is not that relationship, I mean, um, the processing time will take a while. Number four reason why your visa is being delayed could be insufficient information or wrong information. So maybe during your documentation or when you were applying for your visa, you might have um, presented some documents that are not correct or that does not correspond with what you're saying or maybe there's a little mistake in your document so that could affect your processing time because this will now make um, the UK VI to take more time to want to verify your document or at least uh, maybe try to reach you to provide more information please before you submit your document for your visa sit down take your time read every single thing because the things you will not see they will see it. these people know how they i don't know i mean they have sharp eyes so make sure you provide enough document for them to process your visa submitting insufficient documents or the wrong documents can affect the processing time of your visa make sure you're providing enough information your documents everything is up to date everything is correct your name your middle name everything is the same and every there's no error anywhere so because this could affect the processing time of your visa the last and final reason why your visa is being delayed is because of the type of visa you've applied for so depending on the visa you are applying for the processing time for that visa might differ especially standard visitors visa that takes a while because they really need to go through your document and make sure that when you come to the uk for visits or tourism or holiday that you're going to go back to your country they need to be sure that every information you've provided is accurate you have enough proof that you're actually coming to visit they will scrutinize that visiting visa more than they would scrutinize uh, let's say the skilled worker visa or any other work visa if you applied for visitor visa i mean you need to know that the processing time is going to take a while there are so many factors that will also affect the processing time of your visa now let's talk about cos uk vi is currently experiencing significant delay in processing cos aside from that before they issue a cos to a company they have to evaluate the company they have to know what the company yearly turnover how many staffs the company have and how many staff they can recruit from um, internationally because the size of your company will determine how many um, international workers you can bring to the UK. Some companies reached out to me recently that they want to advertise on my platform so they are care homes in the UK but two of them have applied for their certificate of sponsorship but they have not gotten it till now. I don't know if they have because the last time I reached out to them they said they have not gotten it yet. So there's a lot of delay in processing COS from the home office. So it is not even this company's fault. I mean, it is not their fault. Aside from that, the company has to go through a lot of evaluation before they can issue them COS. And due to the fact they have a lot of visa to process, I mean, processing COS too. So there's so many things going on. I mean, things are not as fast as they should be. I'm sure that the UK VI are on the staff and there's not a lot of people um working to get these things done so there's significant delay in processing cos um, from the uk vi the companies cannot recruit international workers if they don't have their certificate of sponsorship that's why i've had a lot of people saying that they've gotten offers from um, companies in the uk and they've been waiting for their cos for over a month and all that and they want to know when will they get this cos and all of that so i'll tell you that it's mostly not this company's fault everything is in the um, UK VI's um, hand, I mean the home office, the people processing the COS and the visa, everything is in their hand. So once they issue the COS to the company, the company will definitely send COS to you to come over because I'm sure they want, if they don't want you, they will not hire you. A UK company will not give you an offer if they don't want you. It's only, in, it's only on a few occasions they might hire you and later change their mind. But most of the times if, it's, if they offer you a job, if you're employed, Trust me, you're going to get your COS. So if you are one of those people waiting for your COS, I'll tell you, I mean, don't feel like they changed their mind because it's in rare occasion, a company will hire you and then tell you they don't want you anymore. Very rare. 
So now that we've talked about the reasons why Visa and COS are being delayed, let's talk about the petition going on. I mean, this one made me laugh so hard. I have to show you guys. I need to show you guys. Petition against the UK government. Um, increased staffing to reduce waiting time for Visa. So I don't know who came up with this, but when I saw it on the internet, I laughed so hard. I'm like, you guys are petty. <laughs> So obviously, it's not just Nigerians or Africans that are having delay in their visa. It's all over the world. I've seen a lot of people in the US, Canada, Australia, China, Japan. Like, I'm in a, in a group, a social group where, where mostly what they talk about is UK visa and people share their experience and opinions. That's why most times I have a lot of information. So. In this group, people, I saw the person, when they posted the petition, they had, they needed 10,000 signatures. So far, the petition has got to 1,700 signatures. For you to know that people are not happy that their visa is being delayed, a lot of people, like, their family are being separated, they can't, they have, they've been waiting for their visa forever. So now they are writing and they've created this petition for people to sign. I mean, if you want to sign the petition, I don't mind. I will share it in the in the description box below. You can go and sign it. I don't deal, man, I don't deal. Anyway, if you want to sign the petition, honestly. So over the, they've had over 1,700 signatures so far. And the, I think the threshold is 10,000 signature. I mean, there's a petition going on against the Home Office to increase their staff so that the visa processing time will not take so long because um, this visa delay is beginning to affect not just the Home Office, it's affecting every other person because some people have businesses or things they've planned to come to the UK and they've been waiting for their visa for months. I mean, someone said they've been waiting for their visa for over two months now. It is so bad. So. I hope this video was helpful because guys we have come to the end of this video i mean if you watch this video till this end and you're not subscribed to my channel what are you doing come on smash the subscribe button down below to support your girl and please do not skip this video do not leave this video without giving it a thumbs up because that will help a lot of people to see it and i hope this video was very helpful let me know what you think in the comment section about the petition do you think you want to sign it are you going to sign it if i should put it in my description box below anyway uh thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video bye bye